In today's video, what I'm gonna be covering is how to get your horse to stand at the mounting block. Every horse I've done this technique with has ended up learning how to stand at the mounting block as they should. So when it comes to correcting this behavior in the moment, what I do is if I'm lining the horse up, for example, let's say he goes to walk away. What I'm gonna do is immediately send him out lunging around me and around the mounting block. Run, trot, 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 trot. So real quick, I'll just show you again. So if I go to line Tucker up here, and let's say he's wiggling and moving around and trying to walk away, I'll just immediately send him out on a circle around me. So the reason I send him out as soon as he starts moving around is because I want to teach him that the wrong thing is hard to do. So if more work is required to do the harder thing, the horse is going to learn really quickly to do the easier thing, which would be to stand quietly at the mounting block. So when I go to lunch him, I'm going to make sure I lunch him enough so that he understands it is work. So not just like twice around. I'm going to lunch him for a few minutes just so he gets the concept. So if we want to make the wrong thing hard to do, that means we also want to make the right thing easy to do. So one thing I'm going to do is once I've corrected him by getting him to lunge around, then I can just let him stand at the mounting block and stand there without me messing with him or trying to get on just so he can understand that the mounting block is a place where he can relax and chill and it will be easy for him. I found that if you're consistent with this routine, then the horse will pick it up pretty quickly about what they're supposed to do. Um, but I also just wanted to share some other exercises you can do to help your horse just feel more comfortable at the mounting block and feel comfortable with you getting on them. I have a philosophy that you always want to set your horse up for success. So I always want to make it easy for Tucker to do the right thing. So one thing I noticed when it comes to horses having problems at the mounting block, one reason they have problems is because number one, they're lined up crookedly to the mounting block in the first place. So then when the rider goes to get on the mounting block and get on the horse, the horse is lined up weird. And so it just feels weird for them to then have the weight swing up on them. So they'll naturally just step away to correct their position and then they get in trouble. So you always want to make sure you line your horse up correctly with the mounting block. The easiest way to do this is to walk beside the mounting block, walk all the way through the mounting block, and then stop the horse right there. So if you're putting your horse on the angle like this and doing weird stuff like that, I mean, you can get on like that, but it's also gonna probably make the horse feel like they wanna step away. So in the beginning as you work on this, really just work on lining your horse up in a good position. So when I first got Tucker, I realized that he was very anxious around the mounting block. And once I worked with him a little bit more, I figured out that he actually felt claustrophobic when he was standing next to it. So he would always want to move away from where the mounting block was. So it wasn't that he would walk off, it's more that he would go sideways. So I noticed he got specifically nervous when I would step up on the block and be petting him and stuff like this. And I really think it just stemmed from he wasn't used to a human being up here and controlling him because this was even before I got on or did anything like that. And so he would be really anxious if I was just even standing on the mounting block. So another helpful thing you may be able to do if your horse is kind of like Tucker is just practice lining him up to the mounting block, stepping up on the block, petting him, and getting your horse used to you being up here and touching them. This is also a great way to show them that the mounting block isn't all about work. One reason that a lot of horses will walk away from the mounting block is because they know they're about to get mounted on and ridden, which is work to them. So they will naturally try to avoid the work by walking off. So if I can show my horse that each time he comes up to the mounting block, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm gonna get on him. That's also another great thing you can do. So I can just pet him up here and then I can step down and lead him off. One other exercise I like to do is to teach my horses to actually move towards the mounting block. He thinks it's his pedestal. We've been practicing the pedestal and so he thinks the mounting block is his pedestal now. You're silly. So I like to teach them to move towards the mounting block. And the reason I like to do this is because it's just kind of immediate correction. If they're to step away, then I can get them to move back. So usually the horse is gonna step away with their hind end. So like if you've ever gone to the mount, okay, that is enough. <laughs> if you've ever gone and gotten on the mounting block and as soon as you step up there, your horse swings their butt away. This is one exercise you can do 
to teach them to step back around. So I'm actually gonna get up on the mounting block, not you. <laughs> And for now, all I'm gonna do, so I have my lunge crop here, and before you do this, I would recommend desensitizing your horse to your lunge whip, just so, you, you know, you make sure they're comfortable. Okay, so I want him to step his hind end towards you guys, so towards this way. So I'm gonna take my lunge whip and tap on the opposite hip, and see he steps, so as soon as he steps over, I'll release that and stop tapping. And some horses get really mad and they may kick and get angry in the beginning, but you just have to keep that pressure until they step over and then you can release. So in the beginning you can, you know, start and tap lightly. If they don't step, I'll just increase the tapping a little bit until they step that leg over, even if it's just the smallest step. There, good boy. He's learned to step back towards the mounting block rather than away. You can also do the same thing with the horse's shoulders where I'm gonna put the lunge whip over their shoulder and once again, make sure you're desensitized before you do this. And I can just tap, 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 and see he went, he even took the smallest little baby step. So I'll release the tension there. And there he moved his whole body, which was good. So I'll ask him one more time, tap, tap, step, 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 step. There. So this is just a great exercise that will actually not only help your horse at the mounting block, but it can lead to teaching your horse lateral movements and just having them being really responsive to your aids and getting them to step their hind end and their front end around. What I wanna do now is talk about how to get your horse to stand still as you actually get on them. So I wanna demonstrate what you would do if your horse starts to walk off. So let's say I'm gonna get on, and I doubt Tucker's actually gonna move, but Let's say he starts moving. I can immediately do a one rein stop. The one rein stop is considered the emergency break for horses. Because what it does is you're gonna pull your horse's nose back towards your hip. And so it's immediately gonna make them just step their hind end over. So the only thing they're gonna be able to do is travel in a tight circle. And the reason I use this technique to correct that behavior is because it's an immediate correction for the horse. So having them turn in a tight circle is once again, this is a hard work for them. So if I can teach them that the wrong behavior is hard, so walking away from the mounting block would be the wrong behavior, then they're gonna be much more willing to accept the good behavior, which is standing at the mounting block. So I like to practice the one rein stop at a walk first. All you're gonna do is reach down your rein, then I'm gonna bring it back towards my hip, and as I do this, I'm gonna use this inside leg here and squeeze to get the horse to step their hind end around. And I'll just hold that pressure until my horse comes to a standstill, and then I can release that rein. So as soon as I release the rein, if the horse goes to walk off again, I can just do the same thing. Bring that hand back to my hip, and that way you're, you're correcting the horse every time they move forward, because what you're really correcting there is that they shouldn't be moving forward until they're asked. I'll go to get on. I'm gonna ask Tucker to move, because I know he's not actually gonna move but then I could immediately pull him into the one rein stop. And so I'll wait till he stops, then I can release. And if he goes a step forward again, I'll pull him back into the one rein stop. One reason your horse may be moving when you go to get on them is because you have subconsciously trained them that when they feel the reins being gathered up, that they're supposed to move them forward. And I only know this from personal experience. I realized once that I actually taught Tucker to go forward anytime I started gathering the reins. So I'd get on the mounting block, I'd start gathering my reins, and he'd start moving forward. So one thing I actually did, let me hop on him, is I actually just started working on teaching him to stand on a loose rein because a lot of horses actually can't stand on a loose rein. We subconsciously taught our horses that we have to have the pressure on them for them to stand still. So that brings me back to the point of the one rein stop. If we're doing the one rein stop with our horses walking off at the mounting block, when we release that pressure, we want the horse to stand still. So when you go to release the pressure and the horse starts to walk off, then you know that your horse may have been subconsciously taught that loose reins means to go forward. So once I teach my horse to stand on loose reins, it's a lot easier to mount because I don't have to like gather my reins up so tightly like I feel like I have to, but I can just have a grab on them when I go to get on and they can be loose, but I'll have a hold of them in case something happens. But that way my horse understands that they should stand when I go to get mounted. 
we just went through a lot of groundwork. So if this is an area that you still feel like you need help with in terms of how to control your horse on the ground and use groundwork to your benefit, I have an online course where I walk you step through step through different groundwork exercises. So go to shop.equinehelper.com or click the link in the description to check that out. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.